सो हाई एवरी वन एंड अ वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन टू अनदर सेशन ऑफ पी आई बी टू फोर सेवन इन टूडेज क्लास विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द पी आई बी न्यूज फ्रॉम सिक्स टू सेवेंथ ऑफ फेबर टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी थ्री राइट सो लेट्स सेशन गाइज विदाउट एनी डिले बट बिफोर वी बिगिन मैं पहले बता दूँ मेरे गले में बहुत तेज दर्द है आज तो थोड़ी आवाज में अगर दम ना लगे तो प्लीज को ऑपरेट राइट सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द वेरी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन Which state has hosted G20 theme-based workshop on agriculture infrastructure fund to encourage participation of women in the field of agriculture? And not only the workshop on agriculture infrastructure fund, but also the workshop on MP Farm Gate app was conducted. MP Farm Gate app was also conducted. So let's talk about the news. Then we will come back to the question. So as part of India's G20 presidency. two workshops were organized one on agri infrastructure fund another on madhya pradesh farm gate app and these two workshops were organized in bhopal and jabalpur which both are in madhya pradesh jo ki dono kahan pe hai guys madhya pradesh mein hai i hope this is pretty much clear right one second yeah the objective of these workshops uh, uh, was to increase the participation of women in agriculture infrastructure fund and the mp farm gate the basic objective behind mp farm gate is to make uh, farmers easily sell their products asani se wo apne products bech sakte hain through the mp farm gate app right the the workshop uh, you know the workshop seeds saw the participation of women farmers women agriculture entrepreneurs women chartered accountants women bank representatives and women from various other departments all right now it will make how these workshops will help क्या क्यों कराया ये वर्कशॉप राइट व्हाट इज द मेजर ऑब्जेक्टिव क्या करेगा ये सो इट विल मेक पार्टिसिपेंट्स अवेयर अबाउट द एआईएफ स्कीम व्हिच इज एग्रीकल्चर इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर फंड स्कीम अंडर व्हिच द गवर्नमेंट इज प्रोवाइडिंग फंड्स फॉर बिल्डिंग एग्रीकल्चर इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर एंड हाउ इट इज प्रमोटिंग द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर हाउ इट इज प्रमोटिंग द रोल ऑफ डेवलपमेंट ऑफ रोल ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इन द कंट्री राइट इट विल आल्सो प्रोवाइड इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट द एमपी फार्म गेट एप to women farmers women entrepreneurs leaders traders etc right so that is all about this news so where these workshops were organized so these were organized in madhya pradesh so option e is the correct answer moving ahead to question number 2 <clears throat> where has national workshop on life been organized recently to sensitize the students on mission life and green skill development program so this is a very simple and very direct question i believe so it was organized in new delhi and the objective of national workshop of life is to basically uh, sensitize students on mission life and green skill development program this should not be sensitized it should be sensitized now it was organized by environmental information awareness capacity building and livelihood program center which in short is eiacp center and also the national museum of natural history <coughs> which is a subordinate office of minister of environment forest and climate change theek hai so isme itna hi padhna hai isse zyada padhne ki zarurat nahi hai the correct answer is option a new delhi moving ahead to question number 3 where has the g20 cyber security exercise and drill been hosted by indian computer emergency response team under india's g20 presidency this indian computer emergency response team is cert in only you must have heard about cert in so this is this only right So it was again organized in New Delhi by Indian Computer Emergency Response Team that is certain in both the modes that is in physical mode and the virtual mode which means the mode of conduction was hybrid right it saw the participation from more than 12 countries and all of them participated through online mode and domestic participants were also there from various uh, from various sectors like finance education telecom port and shipping etc okay and again that is all about it so where it was organized it was again organized in new delhi option c is the correct answer moving ahead to question number 4 this is an important question ministry of housing and urban affairs headed by hardeep singh puri has signed a memorandum of understanding with engineers india limited to develop waste to energy and biomethanation projects in cities with a population of million plus so there are 59 million plus cities in the country right do remember it as of now as of today when i am making this video um, there are 59 million plus cities in the nation all right so how many million plus cities in phase 1 of this collaboration have been selected for developing large scale waste processing plant so abhi tak itna to clear ho gaya hai that there is an mou which has been signed between uh, ministry of housing and urban affairs and engineers india limited 
the objective of this MOU is to develop waste to energy and biomethanation project. Right? What what they are doing? They will develop waste to energy and biomethanation project from where the methane, the methane gas, right? Uh, if I'm not wrong, it is CH4. The methane gas will be produced using the bio methods, right? Without using any chemical. So to, to develop waste to energy and biomethanation projects in cities with a population which have a million plus population to further the green growth agenda. Now this MOU with this collaboration, the additional processing capacity uh, in the, you know, uh, in the waste to uh, energy, basically waste to energy ka jo additional processing capacity hoga, that will be 15,000 per day and for biomethanation it will be 10,000 tons per day. Okay? <clears throat> no, for 15, for bio, biomethanation it will be 15,000 per day and for waste to energy it will be 10,000 per, uh, per day. That uh, 10,000 ton per day, right? That was my bad. So please, my first repeat kar deta ek baar. One second. 15,000 per day additional capacity for biomethanation, 15,000 ton per day for biomethanation and 10,000 ton per day for waste to energy respectively. Okay? Now what EIL will do, what engineer uh, India Limited will do, so it will assist and handhold the million plus cities in developing such projects for large quantum of waste integrating circularity in waste management and in the phase one 25 million plus cities have been selected for these projects and as I told you there are 59 million plus cities in the nation. Now talking about the background of this, now why Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs has sound, signed this kind of MOU. So if you guys remember there was Swachh Bharat Mission Urban 2.0. In that mission the thrust was on is on sustainable solid waste management with vision of creating garbage free cities. So we have a vision of garbage free cities by creating sustainable solid waste management under SBM Urban 2.0 and for that Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs has decided to set up large scale solid waste processing facilities in million plus cities and also to set up biomethanation plants for management of organic fraction of municipal solid waste right <clears throat> and the biomethanation plants basically are linked to the Gobardhan and Satat schemes to produce bio CNG as a renewable energy or Gobardhan ke baare mein budget 2023 jo budget hai financial year 24 ka uske usme bhi baat ki gai hai right so now let's come back to the question so how many cities have been selected for phase 1 25 cities option D is the correct answer moving ahead to question number 5 which of the following has organized uh, the virtual buyer seller meet as a part of its series of sensitization programs aimed at promoting the export of millets and its value added products to harness export opportunities in UAE. So basically it was organized by APIDA, right? What is APIDA? Agriculture and Processed Food Products Export Development Authority in collaboration with Indian Mission in UAE. The objective of this virtual buyer seller meet was to explore the export opportunity of millets and its value products, value added products in UAE, right? And it was organized as a part of series of sensitization programs. So basically APIDA is sensitizing about the millets and of course we all know 2023 is the international year of millets and its value added products, okay? And there is also a plan to organize millet promotional activities in South Africa, Dubai, Japan, South Korea and other countries as well. So it was organized by APIDA. Option A is the correct answer. Now talking about the questions in short, right? There are 21 total questions today. Five are done. Rest of the 16 questions are very direct. So questions in short. But before that, if you want to have the PDF of this session, you can join this Telegram channel. The link is provided in the description. Question number six, where has the Ministry of Textiles headed by Piyush Goel organized Wool Fab, which is an exclusive handloom exhibition of woolen product? Wool Fab is always organized in New Delhi. Option A is the correct answer. Ministry of Culture under Central Sector Scheme Kala Sanskriti Vikas Yojana provides the financial assistance to the veteran artist. Now let me tell you this guys. With respect to Kala Sanskriti Vikas Yojana, I have searched a lot but I did not find any kind of credible document from where I can provide you the details of this Kala Sanskriti Vikas Yojana. So all in all, I can tell you whatever is uh, provided in the PIB that Kala Sanskriti Vikas Yojana is being implemented by Ministry of Culture to promote, uh, you know, to promote uh, artists, uh, 
uh, to promote artists to promote culture by giving them some amount of pension right and this question is about that only the financial assistance provided to the veteran artist uh, has been increased under the scheme from rupees 4000 per month to how much per month from june 2022 right <clears throat> so it has been increased to 6000 per month option b is the correct answer in budget 23 24 anticipated expenditure for azadi ka amrit mahotsav and other commemoration has been increased to 353.82 crores now you don't have to remember this number from budgetary estimate of rupees 110 crores which is the nodal ministry for azadi ka amrit mahotsav very easy question that is ministry of culture headed by gk reddy option c is the correct answer in union budget 23 24 financial assistance for promotion of guru shishya parampara repertory grant given by the ministry of culture has been increased further to promote guru shishya parampara so you have to identify the incorrect statement about that funding about that financial assistance so for guru the financial assistance has been increased from 10000 to 15000 which makes the statement correct for shishya who are above the age of 18 years the financial assistance has been increased from 6000 to 10000 per month this is also correct for shishya who are in the age of 12 to 18 years the financial assistance has been increased from the early 4500 per month to 7500 per month and for shishya who are in the age group of 6 to 12 years the financial assistance has been increased from 2000 to 3500 per month so all are correct which means option d will be the correct answer i hope guys this question is clear uh, moving ahead क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन विच मिनिस्ट्री विल जॉइंटली इंप्लीमेंट वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन आई बिलीव आप सबको याद होगा वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द नेशनल सिकल सेल एलिमिनेशन मिशन दैट वाज अनाउंस्ड इन द बजट अंडर विच द टारगेट इज टू एलिमिनेट द डिजीज बाय द ईयर टू थाउजेंड एंड फोर्टी सेवन द क्वेश्चन इज विच मिनिस्ट्रीज विल जॉइंटली इंप्लीमेंट दिस मिशन इन कोलेबोरेशन विद आई एंड द स्टेट्स कंसर्न सो द मिनिस्ट्रीज आर मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ हेल्थ एंड फैमिली वेलफेयर हेडेड बाई मनसुख मंडाविया एंड मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ ट्राइबल अफेयर्स headed by arjun munda right so option a 1 and 2 only will be the correct answer again in union budget 23 24 government has announced to develop 50 tourist destination will be developed as a complete package of tourism and integrated and innovative approach for providing a wholesome tourism experience so under which scheme these 50 tourist destination will be developed kaun se scheme ke andar ye develop hoga that is the question so it will be developed under स्वदेश दर्शन स्कीम ऑफ द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ टूरिज्म ऑप्शन डी इज द करेक्ट आंसर आइडेंटिफाई इन करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट अबाउट अर्बन इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर डेवलपमेंट फंड दिस आल्सो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड इन द बजट इट विल बी एस्टैब्लिश थ्रू यूज ऑफ प्रायोरिटी सेक्टर लेंडिंग शॉर्टफॉल दिस इज ऑल्सो करेक्ट एंड इट इट विल बी ऑन द लाइन्स ऑफ आर आई इट विल बी यूज बाय पब्लिक एजेंसीज टू क्रिएट अर्बन इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इन टीयर टू एंड टीयर थ्री सिटीज ओनली येस राइट it will be managed by national housing bank ye bhi humne discuss kiya tha and government will provide not 20000 crore but 10000 crore per annum to this fund right so option d is the correct answer to this question because we have to identify the incorrect statement bharat repository uh, shared repository of inscriptions bharat shri which again we have discussed in uh, budget a digital epigraphy museum with digitization of 1 lakh ancient inscriptions ye jitne bhi budget se related question hai na bhai sab bahut important hai so inko ignore karne ki zarurat bilkul bhi nahi hai so uh, where will bharat shri be set up so it will be set up in hyderabad by archaeological survey of india option b is the correct answer which ministry has organized towards panchamri event at international center for automotive technology manisar in haryana to highlight the initiatives taken by it for promotion and development of automotive industry in the country so when we are talking about automotive industry the answer must be the ministry of heavy industries headed by mr mahendra nath pande option a is the correct answer where ministry of labor and employment has organized the first g20 employment working group meeting under india's g20 presidency for addressing priority labor employment and social issues so remember it was organized in jodhpur this we have discussed earlier also option b is the correct answer now this meeting is about g20 education working group meeting and again you have uh, uh, you, the question is asking about the place of this meeting so this meeting the education working group meeting took place in chennai option c is the correct answer which ministry is building you are leadership portal to reach out to youth and engage them in various activities to improve their leadership skills 
and inculcate a greater sense of responsibility towards society. Now, Yuva Leadership Portal has been recently announced by Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports, headed by Anurag Thakur. Option E is the correct answer. Moil Limited is the largest producer of manganese ore in the country with a market share of 45%. It is a Schedule A Mini Ratna Category 1 CPAC under the administrative control of which ministry? So this question is important because Moil Limited is the largest. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, Moil Limited is the largest producer of manganese, right? And it works under the administrative control of Ministry of Steel. Option C is the correct answer. Ishram portal was launched in 2021 by the Ministry of Labour and Employment with an objective to create national database of unorganized workers of the age group of how many years to facilitate delivery of social security scheme. So basically the age gap, age bracket has been asked. So that 16 to 59 option B is the correct answer. Pradhan Mantri Krishi Sinchai Yojana, you all must have heard about this scheme. Uh, it has uh, two major components. Actually, there are four components, but uh, only two are major. One is accelerated irrigation benefit program and another is Har Khet Ko Pani. Now, can you tell me the name of other two components? In total, it has four components, right? Two are mentioned here. Can you tell me the name of other two components? Let's see Kaun Bata Pata Hai. So, which of the following are the subcomponents of Har Khet Ko Pani, right? So, this is a subcomponents ke bare mein question. Hai. So remember the sub components of Harikhet Ko Pani are Command Area Development and Water Management, Surface Minor Irrigation, Repair, Renovation and Restoration of Water Bodies and Ground Water Development. 1, 2, 3 and 4 option D is the correct answer. And the last question for today, Navami Gange program was launched in June 2014 for a period up to 2021 but it has been recently, not recently I believe last year it was extended up to which year that is the question only. So 2026 was the year up to which it has been extended, right? Option D is the correct answer. All right, guys. So that's it for today's session. I have tried my best to reach you guys until my voice reaches. But if in the beach my voice is down, then I apologize for that. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope everything is clear. But if you have any doubts, you can ask me in the comment section. So thank you so much. Goodbye. Take care and God bless.